isn't me you're looking for And I can see it in your eyes I can see it in your smile Boy FM, this is The Wally Show And that is the voice of Joseph O'Brien From his audition on America's Got Talent And I think this is really cool, man Like he's this Christian kid Who's, you know, got on the show And now we have him on our show Welcome, Joseph Thank you so much I'm so happy to be here Well, I've, I've heard Somebody has told me It was you That this is a dream come true uh, of, No, I'm just kidding but, <laughs> Like, you've been on America's Got Talent Which is a huge stage But mm-hmm. you kind of grew up Listening to this show as well Yeah, I did uh, you know, every morning on the way to school, it was the Wally Show. It was just, uh, and Way FM in general. I, I just grew up listening to Way FM, Christian music. And so I was, I was even thinking like on my way here, it was like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm about to be, I'm about to be on my childhood. Like this, this is about to be, this is about to be like the big legit thing, you know, like of, of being on the, on the Way FM. So, you now, know. You do know that you were on national television in front of millions of right. people, right? I do. Yes, I it do. I do realize, but th- this is, this is almost equal. It's okay. almost there. Or maybe even a little bit more, but that's just wow. between us. You know? uh, boy, I'll, t- I'll take <laughs> that. I pray. Any yeah. day. Uh, a little, little request here. Uh, I think of you as the son I never had already. <laughs> uh, I've gotten that close to you here. Uh, and, and, and do me a favor though. If you win America's Got Talent, mm-hmm. I would like for you to thank God, obviously, mm-hmm. uh, then your parents, yeah. and then if it's not too much trouble, okay. just slide me in there. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. 100% sure I got you, Wally. Thank sure. you. Yeah, Thank it you. will happen. He so. wanted to say, put me above your parents, but I made him change that the oh, last okay. second. Gotcha. I was like, come right. on. If you really want a chance at this. You know, parents, Wally, I mean, it's you know, it's a close battle. I so, kind of raised you in a way. Exactly. Right. Like, so, you know. When they wanted you to be quiet, I was there for you, you know? Yes. And so, mm-hmm. okay. <laughs> now, like, on the show, uh, we're talking to Joseph O'Brien from America's Got Talent. You seem like a pretty shy kid, you know, mm-hmm. and... and and you know, and very and very humble, and that's and that's what I think why people like you. You know, there's mm-hmm. enough people out there with bravado and stuff, but you're just kind. So, what made you ever audition for the show in the first place, or who told you to? Um, I mean, it, it kind of was a series of steps. Uh, you know, what I want to do after AGT is Christian music. You know, Christian music ministry. That's where I'm really going for. Uh, and so, kind of what happened was uh, I was I was kind of just sitting down and wondering like what would be the best way for me to kind of like I guess get into the mode of like, hey, I'm going to be doing like ministry or be able to get like a platform to do that. Uh, and so I was kind of sitting down and thinking like what out of all the shows, because I knew a lot of people like we'll start, you know, Danny Gokey started on American Idol, right. Colin Dixon in American Idol. Uh, and so I was like, oh, OK, what show, you know, do I do I really like? And uh, it, it didn't really I, I didn't think anything would come out of it because I went to Nashville for the open city auditions. But uh, I grew up kind of watching YouTube clips on America's Got Talent and I felt like they were really friendly to you know, kind of like artists, like piano, original songs, uh, you know, just like kind of like the whole package instead of just focusing on just, you know, like how many runs can I do in one little sentence? Like, yeah, <laughs> right. oh, you know, like, and that's not the type of singer I am. So uh, AGT just always felt like the best fit. So I went to Nashville with 10,000 other people, you know, and probably half of them were, you know, were like musicians, like out of all the cities I could have gone to, I went to Nashville. <laughs> yeah, know, they all had to take time off of their waiter gigs because yeah. there's a million musicians <laughs> yeah, seriously, here. seriously, all know? trying to get their big break. Uh, and one thing led to another, and then I was on the AGT stage in front of, you know, 1,700 people, but also, you know, around 16 million viewers, and it was insane. That's crazy. It yeah. was insane. And people just loved you, you know? And, <laughs> and so, like, you're problematic for me. Cause oh, I, okay. I've all, and I, and I, look at Becca's Uh-oh. face. Because <laughs> I've took always... took a turn. No, no, no. I, like, I'm, I'm real straightforward with people. I've always uh, thought, okay, you know, the singers on AGT should be on, like, American Idol and things like that. Yeah, yeah. And, like, this is more of a, a, a show for weird, odd acts and mm-hmm. things that don't have another place. And so I've always been resistant to singers on this show. Yeah. And so then you come on, and I have to like you because you're like so stupid nice oh, and sorry. good yeah uh, <laughs> no i'm no. the same way because my mm-hmm. that's my ice cream break time is when people start singing yeah. usually because i'm like okay I, and i always i my husband and i talk about this it's it's cool probably for the people in the room but when you're watching on tv it doesn't always translate but yours actually does like you yeah. did such a good job that oh, you, you. you you felt things in your living room mm-hmm. has this we're talking to uh, joseph o'brien from america's got talent has this started to change your life at all a little bit you've been on two episodes mm-hmm. and you made it through to the lives which is huge yeah it, it's slightly changed especially like social media i mean i went from like a thousand followers to fifty one thousand followers okay which that'll kinda, help yeah it helps <laughs> a little bit you know um, have but, you been trolled at all? Like, have, have, have people been mean to you? Because people can be really stupid mean. Not really. So Good. far, and I, I've just gotten a lot of direct messages from like 13 to 22 year old girl like range. Yeah. And they're, you know, 
A lot of, some of them are pretty Thanks weird. Thanks for answering, Haley, yeah. by the way. <laughs> yes, of course. Because yeah. you're the, the, you're the, my daughter's the whole reason that Joseph is here, because mm-hmm. she reached out to him to uh, book him for our church, and then we're like, well, yeah, why would we not have him on our show? <laughs> she was hogging you. Yeah, yeah, it was it was great that she reached out. Um, and it, it, most of like my direct messages, we, you know, call them on Instagram. Most of them are just really dumb. Like I'll be your first snog or, yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. can I be your first girlfriend or let's, Hey, let's go out for coffee and stuff like that. And you know, I've, I've had over probably, oh my gosh, like probably 3000 DMS of just, you know, either girls like just saying, Hey, you did a really good job or yeah. Some girls just doing haze with a lot of whys. Yeah, you know? yeah. Hey, There's you know? a difference between hay and hay. Yes, there yeah. is a big difference. Okay, now that. I <laughs> sent you one of those, but my e key stuck. Oh, okay, okay. so that, just he almost. Kind yeah, of like that. That was, yeah, that was my fault. Uh, got you, got you. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, I would imagine, and we're gonna talk about this whole thing because part of your story was, you know, when, and they honed in on this, and this is what they do in television or even radio. You look for the story, and they're like, okay, he's never been kissed, he's never dated anybody, and mm-hmm. so Simon's been all over that. So I want to get into that with you and I even have a game about it too which would be delightful oh sweet <laughs> again <laughs> oh so we'll righty. do that with uh, Joseph O'Brien here in 15 on the Wally show is me you're looking for Way of him. This is the Wally Show, and uh, that's an artist you might not have heard on this show yet. Hopefully, yet uh, Joseph O'Brien, but you've heard him on America's Got Talent, and we have him uh, here live in the studio with us today. So, thank you for being here, man. Oh, thank you so much, Wally. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's, it's our pleasure. Like you're a nice kid, and uh, and I and I saw that from the show, and I, I root for nice people to win because you're a, a Christian, and your the way you handled yourself so far on America's Got Talent speaks volumes mm-hmm. about faith to people. Was that kind of an intentional thing for you when you? went on the show you're like you know what I, it would be easy to just go sing but i am going to be upfront about my life and my faith and my mm-hmm. dating and all that yeah it was i mean it's always kind of tough you don't know how people are going to re- really react to your like personal story right. and stuff it's uh so I, I didn't really notice the impact that i would really have because you know uh, sometimes you know in in life I'm, I'm way more open about my faith than i felt like i was on agt but something about people you know contacting me and saying you know your humility and your you know, I guess the way you carry yourself on AGT has been really impactful. I was like, oh my gosh, like I had no idea. Like I just thought I was just being myself, just being, you know, just being me. But uh, yeah, it's it's weird how I feel like the Lord has already used me in a way that I didn't even know that I was going to be used uh, at the time, just the way I guess uh, he was using me in the AGT situation. I don't know. It's just, it's, it's been kind of weird learning that. But. Well, that's the thing, though. There's that, that old quote about, you know, uh, preach the gospel and use words if necessary. And I mm-hmm. think that that's it, because when people see you in this 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 nice thing that you've got going on, you know, mm-hmm. this this trick that you're playing on yeah. us, you know, <laughs> okay. no. but when they see that and then they go to find out more about you and then your faith is evident in all the other stuff that you do, mm-hmm. then it, it's good. And it's it's a great ambassador for, you know, our faith. And so here's the thing. Uh, we got Joseph O'Brien from AGT with us. So you go on AGT, which is hard enough. Yep. You get through round one, you get to uh, the second audition uh, in front of the judges, and then uh, it all kind of seems to go wrong. Mm-hmm. We started out as a friend. It's grown stronger. I only wish I had the strength to let it show. I can't fight this feeling anymore. Right, we've got to stop this song. I'm sorry. Are you shaking your head because you didn't think that was very good? Yeah, I just, just, I don't know. Heart was beating. Yeah. I just didn't, I wasn't really getting in the vibe, you know. I'm going to tell you, when I saw that, I'm like, cool. <laughs> well, the air got sucked out of our room. Well, yeah. if you, 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 watching you listen to that back, I can tell that you still feel like kind of uncomfortable about that yeah, moment. Yeah, it was, whoo. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, when, when that when that happened, I mean, there's, there's nothing you can really think of like, oh my word, I think I just messed this up big time. My biggest opportunity uh, I've ever had. Yeah, seriously. Uh, and so... And then things happen, and I guess you, you continue talking about. It. <laughs> so wait, that was all legit though. That wasn't like they didn't plan this with you and say, "Hey, you know, let's have you do a song that's eh." And mm. then, and so you just you got the nerves got you, and then yep. Simon stops you. Yep. But then you, in a bold turn of events, flip the script here, and you're I like, did, "Yes." <laughs> you asked if you could do an original. That's that's a gutsy move. It was gutsy, especially since uh, the two people before me, they kind of set up as you know they did originals and they didn't go over well with the crowd. Hmm. Uh, and you know, originals are really risky, especially on TV, because you want to make sure the song you have connects with people. Um, because if you sing an original, like people could say, "Oh yeah, you, you have good songwriting skills," but if it doesn't hit a certain chord with 
know, people then they're just listening to a song they've never heard before. Well, you did um, hit a chord, and I thought it was really good. And if it doesn't come, I will see then run to wrong myself strained. Yeah. Swept away in the dead of a winter, it's only when to cry out for my lover. Falsetto. Oh, thank you. You so got much. you. That's you got to do that. Yeah. <laughs> so you win the audience back. You win the judges back. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's a huge, huge deal. Like you had to be feeling good at that moment, right? Yeah, it was. It was kind of relieving just to to see how everyone like reacted to it because it was. It really was a kind of a risky moment for me uh, doing the original song. But I feel like people really reacted to it pretty well, uh, and yeah, I don't know. I just I felt I felt pretty good about it afterwards. So Simon seemed to like you. We're talking to Joseph O'Brien from America's Got Talent, and uh, like Simon seemed to just like he was rooting for you. And if you can yeah. get that, th- mm-hmm. that's a good thing. Like, did you have any off camera interactions with him at all? Like back behind stage and anything like that? No, not really. Really, the, the only off camera judge that I had an interaction with was Heidi. She came after the second performance and she just gave me a hug because she thought it was And then texted you, hey. No, <laughs> no, no, no she, she did not do that. Uh, <laughs> she just thought it was a pretty stressful situation so she wanted to kind of, I guess, comfort me in that. That's cool. Uh, so yeah, it was really cool but uh, the only thing it did uh, with Simon that was kind of glazed over, I gave him a handshake after he, uh, he put me through and uh, it was, yeah, it was, it was crazy just, uh, it's just what happened on stage. It's, it's still, still can't even picture what it would have been like in my dreams. It was yeah. just crazy. Well, yeah. that's awesome, man. Uh, I'm not allowed to have you play on the show uh, mm-hmm. music because uh, AGT rules, and we're going to respect uh, all of that. Yeah. But when you get done, we're actually going to play a game, okay? And okay. if you win this game, mm-hmm. we will have you back on after you win America's Got Talent to okay. play. Okay. okay. So we got Joseph O'Brien with us uh, from America's Got Talent. And if you search on YouTube uh, for your name, it literally comes up, Boy Who's Never Been Kissed. Mm-hmm. Did you ever in a million years think that that's how, when people searched your name, that's what would come up? Yeah, I had actually thought that that would happen because that was kind of my story on the show is, you know, hey, I'm 20 and I've never been on a date pretty much. So it was kind of like... You know what, though? You know. I, and I tell you, I know there's a lot of people that would kind of poke fun at that and malign that or whatever. And mm-hmm. as guys, sadly, we're conditioned to think that way and, mm-hmm. and we trivialize love and relationship and stuff too many times. And I just want to tell you that I actually respect that and I love that you're so open and honest about it and, it, and, and, and that's a good thing. And don't ever lose that. Yeah. You know, this is my daughter, Haley. I'm not leading. I'm not segueing. <laughs> I'm not segueing. Oh. But the thing I always tell her, I'm like, give the nerd a chance, you know, kind mm-hmm. of thing. And so the fact that you're like a nice guy, like, don't let any of this change you and that thing. Stay true to who you are. Mm-hmm. And I th- and you'll come out so much better in the end, even if your YouTube videos are the boy who's never been kissed. <laughs> and one day you'll change that. Yeah, yeah, it, it, probably one day. We'll Maybe. see. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm not holding out any. <laughs> so here's what we're going to do. Uh, I want to play a little game here, okay? And what's okay. at stake for you is we weren't allowed to play any songs uh, with you this time because of you're still on AGT actively, mm-hmm. and I get that. That's the rules. So if you uh, win this game, when you're allowed to, we will bring you back on okay. and uh, have you perform live on the show. All right, sweet. No pressure. Okay? All right. So here we go. <laughs> you're going to get five questions. You're taking on my daughter, Haley, okay? Okay. When you think you know the answer, buzz in. And uh, these are all about famous kisses, Okay. Oh no! <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna get this. I don't know if I'm gonna get this. All right, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping Haley loses. To be honest with you, <laughs> I probably will. All right, so all right, here we right. go. Question number one: oh, no. In the song "How He Loves Me," David Crowder changed the lyrics from "When Heaven Meets Earth Like a Sloppy Wet Kiss" to "When Heaven Meets Earth Like." No! Oh! Why did it go off? Unforeseen kiss. Unforeseen kiss. Let's go! Nice yeah. Yeah. Done. All right, cool, cool. Oh. My buzzer didn't work. Oh, I don't believe oh. that for a second. <laughs> oh, wait, it probably After didn't. like five seconds. You gotta be gentle, you know? Yeah. There you go, yeah, see? It's very, very slight with the movement. That might be your yeah, problem. Dang it, I knew that one. That's Joseph funny. O'Brien up one to nothing ah! on right. uh, famous cool, cool. kisses. No. Here we go. I didn't know that'd be a Christian kiss right there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> just, just yeah. <laughs> what old school performer covered the Prince song Kiss? I've got some choices oh, for you. Was it Engelbert Humperdinck, 
Tom Jones or Elton John? <laughs> Haley. I'm going to go with Humperdinck because Eng- he sounds funny. Engelbert Humperdinck. No. no! Correct. Now you got a 50 Can 50 go shot. Tom Jones options? or Elton John? <sighs> I'm going to say, I, I feel like I don't really know, but I'm just going to give it a whirl. I'm going to say Tom Jones. Tom Jones? Absolutely. No! Right. No! All right. All right. Cool, no! cool, cool, cool. You are cool. killing no! this. All right. I'm ready. I'm ready. What's no! the next question? Nil. Okay. <laughs> no! Now, here's a uh, business use of the word kiss, okay? Okay. In business, kiss stands for keep it simple blank. Do we get options? Nope. Keep it simple. Wait, what? Say it again. Keep Keep it it simple blank. What's the last S stand for? In business? Yep. I'm a musical theater major. This is not my major. All right. I heard this one. So keep it simple. I'll give you some choices. Oh, okay. Silly, stupid, I've got no other S word. <laughs> uh, Haley. Go ahead, go ahead. You said silly and stupid? Yes. Silly. Joseph? No! I'm pretty sure it was stupid. I was going to say stupid. Yes! <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> Zero to three, H. No! Zero to three. Uh, yeah, keep it simple. Stupid is yeah, a business term. I think, yeah, I've, I've heard that before. Wait, but why? I just can place the word. Well, because it's applicable in life, too. You know, sometimes you can mm-hmm. overcomplicate things. Like Joseph on America's Got Talent. Yeah. It's just yeah. you and a keyboard. Mm-hmm. That's no, true. No background Very dancers. Simple. Mm-hmm. What, no Are what? Th- no background answers? Background answers? Yeah. What do you mean background answers? Like you haven't added those in yet, have you? Uh, No, I have not added those All right, those well, in. you yeah, might yeah, want to yeah. think about it <laughs> as you move on to the live shows. Just spitball in here. Um, <laughs> all right. There's a famous picture of a serviceman kissing a woman in Times Square at the end of World War II. What branch of the service was he in? The Navy. Joseph. What? No, you're right. Yeah, I was, gonna say, I was like, I'm pretty sure he was there in like white with the yeah. sailboat hat or whatever yeah. it was. It's my favorite photo. I he, love that photo. I know you like that one. He did have a, a sailboat hat on. Yeah, that's yeah, their he did have a hat on. And technical like term. Little, your face. little swoopy kiss, you know. Got it. Yes, that's the one. Okay, so you know it. Haley's over here going, in your face. <laughs> and we're just talking about love. All right, finally, this should be a no-brainer. You guys should have this one. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. So you're going to have to be quick on the your buzzer. Your fingers are on the buzzer. Well, oh, are we we're not allowed to do that? No, nope, okay. hands on the thing. Oh, Joseph. You did that the whole time? Did I? I can't remember. Ooh, we'll have to sir. check the tape. Oh, I, no. Sir. Oh. sir. Instant review. Oh, Forfeit. I hope you don't cheat on America's Got Talent. All no, right, here we go. <laughs> what Irish band describes the betrayal of Jesus by Judas with the line, one man betrayed by a kiss? What? It's in their song, Pride in the Name of Love. An Irish band? Yep. Can I have options? Nope. What? This one you guys should know. This should be well, in your know. musical repertoire. It's not in my musical repertoire. In the of name <laughs> of love. I mean, I've heard it. I, I know what you're talking about, but like, I, I'm like all modern songs, okay. and that's like a little bit like okay. it's on the older side. What does it start with? Uh, you. A you? Oh, well, that's no. Is it like you two or something? You two is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> He's so oh. happy with himself, too. Uh, you too? Yes! <laughs> no! I gave you all but a letter in there, or a That's number funny. in there. Yeah, I just, I, I had a feeling after you said you, I was like, it's got to be you too. Well, like, yeah, no! wait, wait to figure that out. Yeah, yeah, it's just <laughs> problem-solving skills. Oh, well, he man, uh, thank you so much uh, for uh, being on the show with us. I really oh, wow. appreciate thank you. that. And we are uh, going to be pulling for you. And thank you so I've much. never done this before. Okay. I've never in my entire life voted for anything on TV. And so uh, when we get to the live shows, I will vote for you. Oh, thank you so much, Wally. It means a lot. <laughs> Give a hug. All right, get in here. Thank you. I don't know what's happening behind me. Dang it! <laughs> See, that it's was gentle, gentle. I know, but- <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>